Hi again, everybody. Mac Engel here for the Fort Worth Star Telegram here at Oxnard, California, Dallas Cowboys training camp. He is Dallas Cowboys expert know-it-all, Mr. Clarence E. Hill, Jr. Clarence, today was camp catastrophe. We learned that Rolando McClain is addicted to purple drink, just like I am, and now the Dallas Cowboys' second-best alternative at quarterback, <laughs> Kellen Moore. That's a frightening thought. Maybe out for the season with what? A broken leg, broken it, it, ankle? What a, is it? It's a fractured right ankle. And this is Cowboys camp. The circus is always in town. There's always <laughs> something. My first year on the beat, you know, Barry Switzer got caught with a gun throwing, going through the airport. Since then, I've had Michael Irvin and and Terrell Owens and Des Quincy Bryan, Carter. Quincy and Carter. And Carter. It's always something. It's always news. And yeah, today so we start with. So this is consistent. We start with Purple Drink. What what is, okay, you got to tell the world. Because I never really had purple drink. <laughs> I had a purple crush. What is purple drink? Well, I'm not a purple drink user, <laughs> but let's back up. Rolando McClain, the Cowboys middle linebacker, who's already been suspended for 10 games. We find out that he was really popped for using codeine. Not marijuana. Not like marijuana. And like, and like he told the Cowboys. Right. Honestly, he told the Cowboys marijuana. <laughs> That's but, even better. Yeah, so he was using a, a drink called the purple drink. On the street, it's, but known it's, as, it's known as Scissor, and it's known as Lean. It was made famous during the rap age with, in Houston with DJ Screw. But yes, it's codeine with cough syrup, uh, Sprite, and also a so jolly pretty good. and also a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> but it's a drug, and they get you high. You sip it from a cup, and you know you. Can is it basic? Work. But wait a minute. On a serious note, huh? I know we're making jokes right. like that. Is it a painkiller? Is he addicted to painkillers? Basically. <laughs> I, no, 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 right, because people you. use it. It's a recreational drug. I mean, it's 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 a recreational drug that's that's used in the rap culture, and a lot of people use it. I mean, I didn't know this. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, Little Wayne has had issues with purple drink. Just Google Little Wayne and purple drink. He has issues, and he uses the purple drink. It, it is something that's done in rap culture. It, you know, uh, the, the okay, former, well, the, former the, <laughs> the former LSU quarterback that was his Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell used the is purple drink. Is that why drink. he was fat? Yes. Okay. It wasn't why it was fat, but it's why he couldn't play, and it was something that, that kept him off the field. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good is Purple Drink? I, I don't know. He's a liar. I yes, don't know. Do. I've never used okay. it. Okay, the I bottom line drugs. is, the whole idea is Rolando McClain lied to the Cowboys about smoke, failing the drug. How did he not think he was going to get caught? Well, like, no, what I'm talking about, how did he not think he was going to tell his NFL team that he got busted for weed, like they weren't going to find well, out that it was Cody. It, well, you know, it's everybody keeps talking about how smart this guy no, is. No, 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 no. The drug everybody... program is supposed to be secret. But they weren't going to Co tell his the employer? Com the confidentiality. Well, they're not supposed to, really. They're not, it, by the letter of the law, they're not supposed to. Okay. They're, they're you know, but obviously it, it always gets out, it always happens. Okay, well, so let, he let, got out. Is he let, ever coming back? Let's here? be real. He was never going to play again. Who He's cares? not going to play this year. That's not the real issue for the Cowboys. The real issue for the Cowboys today is that backup quarterback, Kellen Moore, the fractured ankle. Now they're back at, uh, at Dak at, Prescott and Jamil Showers and Jason Garrett. Jerry Jones said <laughs> in the introductory press conference, no to Nick Foles. Because we like Moa. Well, Moa's not there anymore. So now, does he have to readdress that? Do you have to go back and look at Nick they Foles? Do. They have you to. Know, because he's the only, but the problem he's was, the best veteran option out there. Okay, well, they went with the veteran option last year. Brandon Reed was terrible, and Matt Castle was worse. Do they, do the scars from that incident from that regime of Castle and Whedon scare them away from doing Nick Foles, or do they just say to heck with it? We cannot have behind Tony Romo a rookie fourth round pick out well, of Mississippi I mean, you, State. You have to bring a veteran option in, and, and the problem with Castle was that he didn't. He came in the middle of the season. No, 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 know, no, he, no, no, no. The problem with Matt Castle is okay, he stunk. Okay, the problem with the process okay. was you need to bring somebody in in the spring, and and you can say what you want about Brad and Whedon. He was better in Houston than he, he was, was in Dallas. He but was. They had a better team. They around wouldn't him. let him play. Here. Right. They, well, they also had a better team around. They did. They had a better team around. Improve your team, your backup quarter will be better. But again, if you're going to bring somebody in, it's time to bring them in now so they get some training camp under their belt so they can at least try and understand the offense before the start of the regular season. Okay, bottom but again, line, we Dak Prescott is the guy. He ain't going to be the guy. Are we going to see Nick Foles in here by the end of the week? Whatever today is. We like Moa. We know Nick Foles. And here's we the, kill know but here's the killer, Clarence. Everybody's panicking about this. There was this wide presumption that Kellen Moore was good. Right. What had Kellen Moore ever done that we should think that that guy no, was any it, good to begin no, with? It, it's how we go because, you know, before this, we were worried about Kellen Moore. All the questions at the opening press conference, you got to get another backup quarterback because no one believes in Kellen Moore. Now today, Kellen Moore's gone. The season's over. What? Well, purple drink <laughs> for everybody. <laughs>